welcome everyone uh, thank you for joining us for, for today's webinar my name is sunny makija and i'm a senior inside sales executive at crave infotech uh, today we are presenting on resiliency in warehousing using sap technology which will be presented by cam patterns and mr shrikan nistane uh, CAM represents the global center of excellence organization of SAP's digital supply chain portfolio since 2013. He is responsible for defining, communicating and supporting the go-to-market strategy with, which includes business development and deal executions. In 2000, uh, May 2007, CAM began his SAP career in the uh, North America consulting organization with a strong focus of implementing SAP transport management. He helped author the TM curriculum, delivered the training as an uh, instructor, providing knowledge transfer to customer, partners, and colleagues. He has been a recipient of uh, SAP Distinguished Service Excellence Awards, multiple time office contribution as a ramp up coach, trusted as advisor, and principal consultant. Prior to joining SAP, CAM served in a variety of industries providing expertise and thought leadership in rail and ocean transportation management. He has more than 25 years of experience as a consultant and practitioner specializing in supply chain strategy and business management. And from Crave Infotech, we have Mr. Srikan Nistane. He's a digital transformation enthusiast, experience in SAP Digital Core, Enterprise Asset Mo Management, Enterprise Mobility, and Cloud Platform. He has 27 plus years of industry experience helping organization in wide range experience with technology and technolo technological changes for multiple line of business. Uh, now, without any further ado, I will uh, hand over to Cam to start the presentation. Over to you, Cam. Hey, thank you, Sunny, uh, for the warm introduction and for all of our guests that are attending today. Uh, good morning, good evening, uh, good afternoon, as the case may be. I'm really happy to be here to help support our partners, Crave Infotech. And also, I want to share with you some of the newer uh, technologies that SAP is bringing to bear uh, for our digital logistics portfolio. Uh, uh, Shrikan, if you would, uh, let's advance the slides. And so Sunny gave you a little bit of background uh, uh, of uh, my experience at SAP. Uh, and after this call, if there's any questions that you may have uh, above and beyond what's addressed uh, with uh, Crave Infotech as well as myself, uh, I'm always happy to take any uh, types of calls with you and further explain uh, what SAP can do to help support your digital transformation and logistics. Continuing on, Shrikant, uh, for those of you who are not necessarily familiar with all of SAP's portfolio around our supply chain uh, solutions, we have what we call design to operate, where we're able to help enterprises manage the entire end-to-end -end life cycle of a product uh, for supply chain needs. So that includes the designing of, uh, of a product, uh, handing over those engineering designs uh, to our manufacturing uh, colleagues so that they can uh, produce those widgets. And then ultimately, it's about moving and transporting uh, those widgets to customers or other stocking locations. And so we're going to focus uh, in that space uh, today. And to finish off the design to operate, we have the ability to support uh, complex manufacturing uh, facilities uh, using heavy machinery or assets uh, and wanting to support the uh, repair and maintenance and the life cycle of those assets as they're uh, operating uh, in the production stage. And so with design to operate uh, in the logistics space here, you can see SAP, when we think about logistics, uh, it's not just necessarily transportation or warehousing, but it's actually a full uh, complementary suite end to end uh, processes where it, we're able to identify uh, the orders as they come in, sequence them uh, to support your ABC classification of customers. We can plan those transportation needs uh, with our transportation solution, uh, supporting all modes. Uh, but ultimately, it's about the execution. And so that's what we're here to talk about today is warehouse management. And once the planning of those orders have been uh, finalized, it's how do you make sure that the warehouse is operating and executing to that plan most efficiently? Uh, but 
when we think about warehousing, traditionally, it's always been an execution type of system. And so what I want to share with you are some of the newer innovations. And you can see on the right hand side, I'm going to pivot quickly to the SAP Warehouse Insights, which was developed a year and a half ago. And it's truly a cloud native solution uh, designed to complement uh, warehouse management um, customers. So next slide, please, Shikant. So Warehouse Insights, why did we develop this? Well, the problem statement is we know that warehouse management is an execution tool. So we want the ability to actually optimize all those warehouse tasks that we have for the day or for the shift. Uh, we want to make better usage of our warehouse resources. And so even within extended warehouse management, we have labor demand planning, which takes into account the warehouse workers. But what we also want to do is be able to take advantage and plan for those resources being the forklifts. And you'll see in the next couple slides here how Warehouse Insights is truly uh, different and complementary to our warehouse solution. And so ultimately, when we optimize our resources uh, based on the warehouse layout, you'll see uh, we're actually able to save time. And as we all know, the age old moniker, time is money. And so that's ultimately what we're looking to save. Continuing on, Shrikant. So Warehouse uh, Insights is truly an advanced planning and optimization tool in the cloud for modern warehouses where we'll optimize warehouse operations with our algorithms. We'll be able to visualize the warehouse layout, analyze warehouse operations uh, compared to those KPIs. We'll be able to do simulations too with our resources and finally uh, be able to optimize in real time. So while Warehouse Insights is not necessarily new from a warehouse management system, what it doesn't do, it's not going to execute those warehouse tasks and put away uh, activities that you would do in EWM. So that is why we see this as a complementary solution, allowing the EWM functions and capabilities to be uh, scaled, uh, taking advantage of cloud computing with Warehouse Insights. And so we developed our solution based on the SAP Cloud Platform, uh, which some of you may know as our Cloud Foundry. Continuing on, Shrikant. So you can go out and build the slide. So with our interactive warehouse layout, the uh, key thing for us is that we're importing data from our EWM system. This allows us to visualize the layout. I have a screenshot example for you. So you can really check the completeness of the warehouse data in the EWM system, like your bins and edges, and then identify and correct them if they're wrong uh, in the EWM system, because that's the source system for uh, Warehouse Insights. Uh, more importantly, we're able to check the distance between the bins. Uh, and so this will be used when we do our optimizations and simulations for the best travel path, whether it's bin to bins, uh, management, or uh, based on all of our warehouse orders. Continuing on, Shrikant. So with an interactive warehouse, oops, so with an interactive warehouse uh, layout, uh, this is nice because on the left-hand side, you can see once you have defined all of your edges and your nodes and the warehouse uh, layout is uh, to your satisfaction, you can actually click on the different bins uh, on the left-hand side uh, to get further details. So on the right-hand side, if you can imagine, uh, the bins, uh, it's a top-down view on the left-hand side, but if I click on a specific bin, I'll be able to see the vertical representation of you know, bins within the same column, but at different levels. So it really allows you to color code uh, the storage sections of your warehouse. So if, uh, for example, you were uh, in, in a uh, food distribution facility and you had uh, cold storage, you could identify that with a different color. Continuing on, Shrikant. So within the uh, functionality, we want to do uh, what we call the network model management. And that means we're really defining all of the different nodes in the network. And so that's important because you want to evaluate the completeness of the network, view those uh, edges. You could even create new edges uh, by connecting those existing nodes that you're seeing here on the screen. Uh, and, and more importantly, checking on, per, on perhaps inactive 
uh, edges as well, uh, allowing you to truly optimize in, uh, when you're running your simulations. Uh, continuing on, Srikant. So what are the, the things I like most about this solution uh, and, and customers often ask us uh, within our uh, portfolio is whether or not we're able to do simulations. And simulations are key because you can really see uh, what the system is doing in terms of defining those edges and those nodes and looking at all of the orders and the tasks that need to be um, picked or put away for the day uh, you can truly see with a simulation whether or not you're going to get those time savings that we spoke about. And again, time is money. So uh, in reality, you can see uh, how the system using uh, algorithms based on machine learning uh, techniques uh, that we're able to better optimize uh, the result based on these simulations. Continuing on, Shrikant. And so once you've done uh, your uh, optimization and your solve, it's really about the analytics, right? And, be, and you want to make sure that whatever the system came back with to optimize all of the orders based on the best sequence and uh, least distance traveled throughout the warehouse, uh, we can report on those analytics. So if, uh, for example, you had a result that trended above what your expectations were, you would be able to quickly identify that the tolerance was violated and then be able to take corrective action, whether it's redefining the nodes and the edges or perhaps uh, updating some other aspects in EWM like your resources. Continuing on, Shrikant. And so uh, once you have studied, you can have a, a quick readout for your management. Uh, and expose this to any level uh, throughout the organization so that they can see the performance of the warehouse from a planning is really, truly helping uh, transform businesses. Continuing on, Shrikant. And so uh, once you have uh, assessed and analyzed your report, you actually even have the ability to take a look at your warehouse uh, heat map. And why I like the heat map is because it can show you uh, if you have slow moving parts or fast moving parts, uh, where items are being picked through uh, or touched more often than others. And so you can start to see if there's congestion being built up. And in fact, I had a customer that I was working with the, uh, just uh, last week that said, as part of their strategy, they, they have high moving items stored in different zones of their warehouse to avoid the uh, cluster or congestion of their warehouse workers all going to the same location uh, to pick those items. And thus, uh, that congestion is causing a delay in, in uh, their put away or their uh, unloading activities. Um, uh, as well as picking activities. And so uh, I suggested to them using a tool or solution like Warehouse Insights, you would be able to see and optimize um, the, the bin location and materials based on those high moving parts. So you don't have to have those parts um, laid out in multiple zones in the warehouse. So that's just an example of where Warehouse Insights could help customers uh, with those types of problems. So if that uh, resonates for you, we'd certainly be happy to uh, speak more about our capabilities. And so as I mentioned, Warehouse Insights is a cloud solution. We have natively designed it to integrate out of the box with EWM. So that's where we're getting that layout is through the EWM master data and then any changes we'd wanna see coming from the source system. Ultimately, having a planning tool allows now us to have a complete uh, warehouse management system or solution where we can now plan and then execute according to that plan. Continuing on, Shrikant. And I thought I might have my contact information. If not, we'll make sure that we put it in the chat for you that you can connect with me. But with that said, I'd like to pass it over to Shrikant and thank you very much for your time today. Hey, Cam, thank you very much. It's uh, always been a pleasure to hear you. Would you like to tell people more about, a little bit about what is new coming in into the logistics network? Is that something you would like to share and spend a couple of minutes? 
Sure, I can do that. So I, I should have given you some ideas too with Warehouse Insights. So let me quickly uh, let you know what we've got for Warehouse Insights in, in terms of plan. And as you can see here uh, in our disclaimer that every all forward looking statements are subject to change. So with that said, with Warehouse Insights, we're gonna be looking at waveless picking. We'll be uh, doing some 3D uh, visualization of your warehouse so that not only can you see it from a top-down approach, but in a true 3D manner. Uh, we know that labor demand planning is in warehouse management, but we're also going to bring uh, that type of logic into the warehouse insights so we can do uh, more optimization based on machine learning, uh, doing dynamic task bundling, and even taking advantage of IoT uh, sensor type of integration within our tool. Um, as a uh, broader strategy from a cloud-based solution, warehouse insights is not the only solution we offer. And so that's where Ashrikant would like me to just quickly tell you about the Logistics Business Network. The Logistics Business Network is truly a multi-tenant uh, software as a service um, offering from SAP where we're able to connect to your uh, digital core uh, ERP system, uh, whether that's an S4 HANA database, uh, and a traditional ECC database, or even a non-ERP uh, uh, database from a third party uh, provider. So we're able to connect to a cloud solution, really connecting you all to your uh, stakeholders, whether that your stakeholders are vendors or carriers. Uh, and it's a way for you to quickly collaborate transactionally uh, with your carriers, not only from a visibility of where are your products as they're traveling um, in route to the final destination, but we also offer the ability to do uh, additional activities like uh, tendering, uh, subcontracting during the freight um, uh, process, as well as doing any dispute management uh, with freight. We're even taking advantages of newer technologies like blockchain to do material traceability uh, for Providence to ensure uh, some of these newer commitments that customers are making to sustainability uh, in terms of ESG. So uh, just a real high level, if you'd like more details around uh, SAP Logistics Business Network, or again, any of our uh, de design to operate digital supply chain solutions, I'd be happy to uh, speak to you further. And I'll put in the chat my uh, contact information. Thanks, Srikant, over to you. Hey, thank you very much. Appreciate that. I know that's very exciting because SAP is rolling out different networks, so logistics network, uh, asset network, uh, pharma network, or life sciences networks, or many networks being proposed and in place so that uh, there can be more and more collaboration between different constituents and user groups within SAP. So great, excellent, excellent. We are very excited to be part of logistics and also intelligent asset management or uh, uh, asset network too. Um, so mm, we heard uh, from Sam about uh, what's in the coffin for the um, for the making the warehouse intelligent and sometimes and a lot of times you need help from somebody right who has done this before who understand what it is and that's where we come into picture so uh, today we are going to talk about uh, uh, several topics which includes uh, but not limited to um, the implement the EWM, but also we are going to talk about barcode, RFID enablement, and and few other topics which are definitely interesting and and very um, um, very interesting for everybody to know because that helps you uh, to make the warehouse intelligent. First of all, a little bit about Crave Infotech, what we do from the digital supply chain uh, side. So we have a very strong practice into three areas. One is EAM, so that is asset management. Uh, second is EWM, so that's we, we can call intelligent warehouse. And uh, we do EWM. We also have complementary solutions for Fiori mobile application because SAP is no longer investing into the inventory manager solution. So we have very appealing, very innovative and user friendly um, application using Fiori user interface uh, and also available on the cloud platform for EWM and also WM both of them. 
also we have barcode and rfid enablement we work very closely with zebra we are zebra's isv and uh, uh, isv and resale premium partner we work very closely with them understand the zebra very well so does other custom, uh, other hardware vendors like panasonic and honeywell but zebra uh, we have much better relationship and we can help you to do end to end we have worked with many rfid and barcode vendors uh, and help you to get that end to end experience so that you don't have to go for 10 places you don't have to worry about hardware guy the rfid person and the software guy and the implementation guy no you can be we can be one stop shop for you in addition to that we also have solution for indoor right, uh, routing i'll talk more because there is more this is just uh, limited information in addition to that we also have practice into logistics so <coughs> transport management <coughs> sorry about that excuse me and so forth so today's focus is of course uh, intelligent warehouse and let's continue that journey and see how we can help you and what we have done so first is uh, i would like to talk about this graph i'm sure you have seen this uh, shape right when we were in school we used to have a uh, a very small instrument in our compass box where we used to use this for measuring the uh, angles and uh, so this is the um, same is used to measure where we are into the warehouse maturity curve so there are five phases of maturity curve uh, first is phase one is the improve operations second is the connection of the connecting workers third is the integrating uh, assets uh, and your your uh, parts uh, to the right system be responsive and finally predict and adapt our experience is that most of the organizations are between first and second some of them are in third very few are in fourth and extremely small number into predict and about adapt so what we do we we have a methodology by which we can help you to determine where you are onto the maturity curve and then uh, we go through a list of questions uh, it's a half a day session no uh, strings attached this is purely educational session we ask you questions to the combination of hardware and software both and then we will tell you where you are on this maturity curve not only that we can also help you to see what can get you to the next level and and that's where we help you to my to graduate from one phase to another so that's about the maturity curve now let's talk about the ewm so uh, ewm is one of the tools right uh, this is the sap's latest and greatest into the warehouse management extended warehouse management there are different options for deployment EWM can go with SAP S for HANA or it can also go with SAP ECC in a different uh, as an uh, SCM server as an EWM standalone or it can be also embedded EWM similarly the same scenario with the S4 actually EWM is kind of integrated into the same uh, stack into the S4 that helps a lot um, and SAP is basically encouraging customers to move away from uh, SAP warehouse management there is a date already set for it to expire and they are encouraging customers to move to the EWM so these are the different ways options <clears throat> so what is Crave's warehouse management portfolio so uh, let's look at this we have of course extended warehouse management in the center storage and operation, inbound processing, transient and cross docking warehousing, distribution warehousing, production warehousing, outbound processing. We have all these processes you can cover through the extended warehouse management. We'll talk more about what's the difference between WM, EWM. I have a slide about that. Um, and then uh, you will have much better understanding about it. Here we go. So here is the uh, difference between WM and S for HANA EWM. So transaction in WM, it's a GUI based transaction in S4 HANA, you have Fury enabled. It's, it's a little bit enhanced, um, gives you flexibility to access wherever you can. But we add our mobile application, so it is enabled on mobile, works very well. 
with the hardware and also gives you offline capability. So even if there is, so today's applications so there, most of them are telnet and web-based application uh, and they will lose connect, uh, they will lose the connection as soon as there is a uh, connectivity issue and you will lose your transaction and data. That doesn't happen with the Fiori and the Crave application. Warehouse number is three character. In S4 is four characters. Storage location is mandatory. It's not mandatory. So this is a list of um, all the differences. You can read that. We'll share this deck and also the recording for your record. Uh, also in S, uh, EWM, there is a best practice content available standard from out of the box. And there is a link already shared so that you can look at that uh, once we share this deck. And you can that pre uh, best practice content helps you to enable pre-configured basic warehouse management processes via clearly defined scope and explicit guide, guide, guidance. So it helps you to do a quick jump start. There's a lot of um, lot of handholding is already available from SAP. These are the uh, different types of warehouses where EW can be uh, implemented: production warehouse, distribution, service parts, cross stock, or transient. This is a very good slide which talks about what is available in which release. So depends upon where you are, you can see this is up to 1909. Now we have latest release. I will have to get a let, uh, uh, later slide and update this, but it clearly uh, shows you what is available in which release so that you can plan accordingly uh, your, your activities. Very handy. Now let's talk about uh, our success story. So this is about uh, um, global infrastructure, network infrastructure provider and manufacturer company. 19 countries, 39 locations. And we help them to implement the warehouse management. Uh, we help them to, um, to develop the mobile app, which is specifically for them. So they have taken our mobile app and adapted for their need. Uh, we help them to do basically end to end. So back-end, uh, adapting the mobile application, packaging the mobile application, and then shipping it globally. So when their people open up the boxes wherever they are in the world, they open up, they powered up, they logged in, and everything ready to go. System new. What's the uh, Wi-Fi in which country, at which location, and everything was pre-programmed. These were using uh, Zebra tablets, Zebra handheld devices, TC8300, and the scanners. Uh, and one of the key thing what we have done is when we work with customers, we also walk them through what is the best, you, which hardware is best suitable for which user scenario at which location. We basically create a matrix and make sure that you have right choice for the right user use cases. This is second success story for a pharma and life sciences company, global company there we did EAN and also the warehouse using again the tablets, um, handheld devices and printers. I'm going to talk a little bit more about, uh, oops, what happened? Okay. So this is the images of our uh, success story. Uh, this is again life sciences. So there are a lot of regulations they need so, so this is a, um, they started with barcode and now the RFID implementation is going on and I'll talk more about that. So bar, they wanted to barcode enable every part. They had close to 20,000 parts each plant and they wanted to barcode enable every one of them and make sure that uh, um, um, they have complete traceability, no manual errors. Uh, for So we were hired to do barcode enablement also deploying our solution and also implementing the SAP warehouse management application. So it's an end-to-end -end, uh, story. Uh, we have specialized transaction created for uh, tracking the printing of the labels so that uh, you can meet your audit uh, regulatory requirements. So there is a special report tells you which printer, which, which label was printed when, whether it was reprinted and all that kind of stuff. This is how that specific application user interface looks like. Now, how, how we help you? There are two ways we help you. One is we help you to simplify user interface. You might have, you must have seen 
SAP console, tech console, ITS mobile, and all that green screen, blue screen, and now we convert that into the Fury screen, which is uh, user friendly. User can use effectively, similar to any other mobile application you can use. And also we help you to simplify architecture. If we have SAP console, tech console, web console, these all technologies are phasing out or phased out. They all create have middleware which causes latency, additional maintenance, um, and all sort of issues. While in case of the Fury, you have a completely responsive user interface. The same application works on hardware, uh, any hardware, iOS, Android, Windows, tablet, mobile application, or desktop. So let's now summarize about our intelligent warehouse offering. Of course, we talked about um, there is a lag. Let me go back. So we have, we talked about implementation of different warehouse solution. It can be WM, EWM, or uh, embedded EWM along with S4 HANA. Once you have that in place, you would like to barcode enable your uh, materials. You would like if you if you have appetite, then you can RFID enable. And I haven't discussed about that use case. So this life sciences customer, uh, they wanted to have basically unmanned store. So um, and, and it's no, it's not a, it may not be a theft scenario, but they wanted to make sure that every part is taken out with um, proper transactions. And sometimes people go in rush and they pick up because they want to do the job in time or uh, meet an emergency, but they got to do the transaction. So what we have done is we have installed the barcode readers onto the doors and specific places so that any moment in and out of that exit points is targeted and it's alarmed uh, to the user and also to the bin counters that something has happened. In addition to that, using this barcode readers, when user is going, walking around the warehouse, it will indicate where this part is located. So it increases the beep sound, beep, 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 as you go close to the specific RFID tagged part and helps to locate the uh, parts very easily and with more accuracy. So that's the use case we are doing for these customers. Once you have that in place, then we talk about the uh, mobile application. And I think I have spoke a little bit about this. Our mobile application takes care of almost everything, inbound, outbound, cycle counting, internal transfer, printing, for storage and operation, transit, dock, uh, and cross docking, warehousing, distribution, and also production. Once we do that, we help you to find out right hardware for it. And once that is done, we develop the mobile application. If you want to go to the next step, we also integrate forklifts so that you have complete seamless experience without, so we can direct the forklift for automated picking. Then comes the hands-free picking using the right uh, hardware choice. And finally, the voice acted picking. So we can help you to do end-to-end -end for the warehousing and make your warehouse intelligent using all these solutions, technologies, and functionalities along with SAP. We also have helped people to do the site survey. Uh, so ensuring that you have the right Wi-Fi coverage and your mobile application is behaving the way it should be. A little bit about Crave Infotech. Uh, I think watching at the time. So we are a 13-year-old company located in headquartered in New Jersey in US, physical presence in USA, India, Africa, and also Brussels in Europe. And uh, we pride uh, to help you to save or reduce your total cost of ownership by 80% using our prepackaged solution and the right rapid deployment methodology. So what do we do? We combine SAP Intelligent Enterprise, which is S4 and ECC, SAP Cloud Platform, our prepackaged solution, RFID and mobile computing technology, and geo enablement. And we combine all these together for warehouse management, enterprise asset management, field service and supply chain. And today's discussion was, of course, the warehouse management. We are trusted by, these are our uh, few limited list of our customers, utilities, oil and gas, uh, manufacturing, life sciences, pharma, chemical, petrochemical, 
retail, customers like Siemens, uh, biotech, paper manufacturing, paint manufacturing, and so this is the list of uh, our customers. Finally, um, this is we call chain diagram, which talks about all of our prepackaged solutions. We just discuss about one, right? This warehouse in supply chain. But we have complete set of enterprise asset management, uh, direct store delivery, supplier connect, truck loading, then production order management. There are a lot of applications specific to specific industry like life sciences, pharma, oil and gas, utilities, manufacturing, high tech. But if you see this graph, every node in this chain represents different business unit or function within the organization, we have a solution for that. So please feel free to talk to us, reach out to us, and set up some time so that we can help you to understand how we can help you to get through the, these are some quotes, word of mouth from our customers. Um, and as I mentioned, we have a warehouse maturity enablement session or a, a, a assessment session which is no obligation to you, you can feel free to reach out to us and we can help you to identify where you are and see how we can get you to the next level. So with that, uh, uh, these are our contact details. We have Sunny, uh, he is our inside sales uh, lead and he uh, can be reached and I can be reached. This is our uh, contact number, toll free contact number also listed here. With that, we'll open up for the uh, Q&A, Sunny. Uh, so, I think, Shrikant, we have one question uh, while uh, Cam was uh, discussing about the warehouse uh, and logistics stuff. Uh, and Terry asked that, uh, can you, uh, Cam, explain about the edges better because he is not familiar about that term. It's Cam there. Cam, are you on mute? Cam, are you here? Cam might have, oh, he's there, he's on mute. Yeah. Cam, okay, no problem. Okay. If Cam comes back, we'll answer. Other, otherwise, we'll keep that question and we'll make sure we get the answer to them. He might have stepped away, but we'll get the answers. I see there are some uh, points in, oh, Cam has, yeah, Cam's uh, email address is also available, so you can definitely, uh, we'll make sure this um, gets answered. Okay. Um, so any other questions? Okay, so uh, once again, feel free to reach out to us. Um, I, Sunny, why don't you drop your email address also uh, oh. into the chat so they have that. Um, or reach out to us at contact at Crave Infotech. We monitor that. And uh, we thank you very much for joining the call today. And uh, uh, have a nice rest of the day or evening, wherever you are. And we look forward to work with you and see how we can help to make your uh, warehouse intelligent. We'll close this session now. Thank you very much.